Hey guys, so today we will continue watching the rise to the throne of King Ashok. Last time the king was sick and the, the son he thought should be the king, um, the people who were, I don't know how to call them, the people who were working in the palace, the people that's supposed to be like his advisor, I don't know, they decided um, that the other son, like the son that the king was not like, not his favorite, um, should be the king. So yeah, let's see how this turns out Then in just a few days Bindusa's health worsened. He was now close to death Where, where is Sushim? Call, call him It's time that he's coronated <laughs> so, he's still in Takshish. Call my son! No! <laughs> like, I don't know if I like those three people or not because they are, you know, not doing what their king is saying. The ministers at this came back with Ashok, decorated in all the royal garments and jewelry. Samrat, your son's here. Seeing Ashok in all his health so quickly, Bindusar understood what was going on. <laughs> you traitors! <laughs> Bindusar died in his sickness while Sushim was away. The conspirators declared Ashok as the new king. What? When Sushim learned that Ashok was crowned, he was infuriated. Immediately, he with his army rode for the capital. He had the support of many of his brothers and allies. Ashok was ready. And now we're just like brothers fighting each other. This is why his way, stuff like this are Sushim so saw Ashok mounted on an elephant, know, challenging like, him for a battle. Terrible actually. When you think about it, because Kinder basically Kinder. they're a family. He charged. But little did he know that it was a trap. He felt that something was wrong about the ground underneath. <laughs> Sushim received a slow and painful death. There was no major challenger left to Ashok. He was now the Chakravartin Samrat of the Magat. Okay, I, I don't know what I feel about him because um, I know he was, he created an empire, but at the same time, I don't know, to kill your brothers, um, I understand that maybe the gods wanted him to be the ruler of India, but I don't know. I just feel like, and it's not just it's not just him. Like a lot of stories like this are happening, and when when like families are fighting, when people are just like fighting for power and not just like trying to see how can we just make how can we just like calm down and talk about it and you know create something together um i don't know i feel like what happened with the king uh, when people were like disrespecting the king and i don't know maybe the king was right and maybe that was maybe he thought this should be the person who is supposed to be the king after me but if people are like rebelling on the king um which the god the gods had like had chosen him so just like to say, um, no, we're going to choose the king now. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I don't like when people are like 
tricking people to get stuff. Stuff like this is not this is not just happening in India. I mean, this is happening all over the world, and I honestly I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know how how should I because there is never like a good and a bad person. If like things are not black and white, it's like you know shades of gray. But this is there are so many layers to each story, and I don't know. I feel like I I feel like in here they're trying to make him. Um, looks like he is the bad guy um, and I don't have enough information to know if he is the bad guy or not um, right now I don't know how he was treating the people which is I know that around this time the most important thing was to conquer more land but like the people this is what you need to be focusing on like how are you going to be um, a good king to the people um, yeah so I cannot wait to see the next chapter um let me know what you think in the comments was he a good king like what do you learn about him did you learn about him um or is this new to you exactly just like this is all new to me yeah i'll see you next video bye guys